a lot more trees than there are now. Yeah. And this is Seattle oh, wow. now. And what's the reason why? Probably any tree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but since <coughs> man, um, since mankind took this change um, to Seattle, the population the orca population has dropped to less than 80 orcas. But why is this happening? <laughs> Let's look at some changes in the Duwamish River. The Lower Duwamish River, just a few miles south of downtown Seattle. In 1913, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers excavated and straightened the river to expand commercial navigation. 97% of the original habitat for the salmon was lost due to the transformation of a nine mile estuary into a five mile industrial channel. As damaged and polluted as the lower Duwamish River is, the habitat here is crucial to ensuring the survival and recovery of threatened species. This section of the Duwamish is really important for fish, especially salmon, as they acclimate to moving from a freshwater environment to a saltwater environment. Now that we know that there's a lot of um, now that now that we know that there's a lot of pollution in Puget Sound, what is killing the ocean? In our Boston State project, we narrowed it down to one simple phase: stormwater pollution. Every time it rains in the city, the um, rainwater doesn't infiltrate the soil. Uh, the water goes straight into drains and pipes and then right into our major waterway. And for the Denny and South community, it goes straight into a uh, long cell of Um While the water goes across the paved surfaces and sidewalks, it picks up tons of toxins like zinc, copper, nickel, lead, platinum, and mercury. And these are just the stuff that are you can't see that's dissolved. Some of these, like this one, I don't even know how to um, pronounce, like Zuban Zonkiosanese. I don't even know what it means or how to say it. I don't want it in my water. And I don't think you would too. Um, this video is a new piece on Longfellow Creek. 
before they can spawn Before they can spawn, salmon in this Seattle Creek are dying. Do that. I mean, fit, gasping for air. Fish don't gasp for air. A vital cycle cut short. There's a high correlation in this pre-spawn mortality phenomenon in urban creeks where there's a lot of stormwater pollution. Here is a bright pillow. Definitely pre-spawn. Salmon spend years at sea, then migrate up streams or rivers where they reproduce. But with increased development, more metals, pesticides, and other pollutants are ending up in the runoff from the rain. We, at the same rate, we're developing more and more of the upper watershed. So the, the worry is that we'll start to see this phenomenon further and further into the watershed and into our most important salmon rivers. So. <coughs>